Hello everybody. In today's video, we will learn about systems of linear inequalities. In the previous video, we learned about how to graph and how to use the linear inequalities in two variables to graph or to answer word problems. So as long today we have systems, it means that there is not going to be one inequality only. We are going to have two inequalities with two variables. Now, remember that the identity with two variables, the one that we learned till now, that one was the equation of the line, where in slope intercept form, the equation of the line is y equals mx plus b. When we work with system, remember that we have more than one equality, more than one line. So let's say line one, y equals m1x plus b1. And line two, which is y equals m2x plus b2. The pair of lines, the two lines, they can be parallel if they have the same slope. And if the lines are parallel, then the system has no solution, which is called inconsistent. Or the two lines, they can be intersecting. And it happens intersection when the slopes are different. And if the lines, they are intersecting in a point, for example, one point of intersection, then the system is consistent independent. Or the two lines, if they have the same slope and the same y-intercept, they coincide. And in this case, the system is linear dependent. So all of these situations we are going to have to work with in this new lesson. It's just that instead of drawing only the line, now we have to draw inequality with the two, uh, two variables. So we have to shade the intervals. Remember that if we have greater than, less than between the two expressions, when you will uh, plot the points, when you will connect the points, the line, it will be interrupted. And if we have greater than or equals, less than or equals, the line, it will be a solid line. If it is about greater, we have to shade above it. And if it is about less, then we are going to shade below. And always inequalities, they will give us infinitely many solutions. But again, here we have to, to look after the interval in which the two inequalities, because in our lesson is not about equality, it will be inequality, greater than or equal, greater only, or less than or equal, uh, less than only, it doesn't matter. But so, that system, it will have solution if and only if these two intervals in graphing, they will intersect. For example, if I draw the first line, I draw above it, which means it's greater than, and I have the other line, I draw and I will shade below it. As you can see, the two shadings, they do not intersect. This means that this system does not have solution. So let's see. They give us what are the solutions to the system of the linear inequalities. So I will take the both inequalities and I will graph them on the same coordinate plane. I will take the first one. From the first one, I see that the y-intercept is negative 2 and the slope, it's the coefficient of x, which is 1, rise to run. So I will graph this. So negative 2, rise 1, run 1. To connect these two points that I can draw the line, here is no equal sign. So I will connect them with interrupted line. This is my first line. But this is not all. As long as inequality and is given greater than, then I have to shade above it. So any point above this line, it will be solution for it, for this inequality. Now, I will take the other inequality from here. This, the y-intercept, it is 1, and the slope is negative 1 rise to run 1. So, the y-intercept, it is 1. The rise is negative, so I go down 1, and I run 1. And now, these two points, I have to connect them. But take care now. It is given equal. So, when we will connect these two points, we will use the solid line so this is line 2. Now, it is given less than, 
So the solution of this inequality, it will be any point below this line. See, when I shade it with different colors, it will be very easy for everybody to observe that the two shadings, the blue and the red, they will intersect in this region, which is called the feasible region. And any point in this region, it will be solution for this system, including the points from this point of intersection between them and the points they belong to the second line because here I have the equal sign. So all the points from the point of intersection and up more, more and more and in the feasible region. Let's see. Use a system of inequalities to solve the word problem. They say, Malia has $500 to purchase. So this is the total money that she has. She wants to use this money to buy water bottles and pair of socks. If you take a look in this picture, a pair of socks, it costs $3 and the water bottle, it is $2. So this is the maximum money that she has. I have to work with two different inequalities, I think so. She needs to buy a total of at least 200 items. So yes, we have to write two different inequalities. One inequality will represent the items and the other inequality will represent the money that she can use to buy to purchase these things. So we have to identify, formulate a variable for each one of the items and I will use for water bottle X and I will use for socks the Y. So put these two things together I can write an inequality for items only. So do I know how many bottles? No, but I know that the price for one of them is $2. So the bottles and the pair of socks, at least 200 items, which means greater than or equals 200, at least represents the minimum that she wants to buy. With the money that she has, maybe she will uh, use the money all, maybe she will use less than this money, but she cannot spend more than the money she has. That's why the money they represent the maximum, not the minimum, as in at least. So this is the, at most the maximum money that she has. So let's write the inequality for money for the bottle. As long as one bottle is $2, all the bottles, X. One pair of socks, $3. So all the socks, all the pair of socks, 3Y. And less than or equal, 500. In this way, I obtain the system of linear inequalities, each one of them in two variables. Now, what is it left for us is to graph. So to graph, the first one, for the first one, as long the x has coefficient 1 and the y here coefficient 1. So for the first one, I can keep the standard form. I will find the x and y intercepts and I will uh, plot them on the graph and that's all done. But if I take a look in the second one, here is the standard form. But 500, it is divisible by 2, but it is not divisible by 3. So I cannot graph keeping this standard form. I will rewrite it into the slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. So before the graph. So to rewrite it, to solve it for y, first of all, I will do minus 2x on both sides. So it will be 3y less than or equals negative 2x plus 500. And then over 3. So it will be y less than or equals negative 2 over 3x plus 500 over 3. So this is the second inequality from the first one. I will keep it standard form. And for it I will find the x-intercept and I will find the y-intercept. The x-intercept, it will be 200, and the y-intercept, it will be 202. Now all I have to do is to take the points 
plot them on the coordinate plane and connect both of the lines as long we have the equal both of the inequalities the lines they will be solid lines let's have a look so as you can see in red color it's the inequality for x plus y greater than or equals 200 here i have the x intercept 200 And here I have the y-intercept 200. I connected them with solid line. I don't have to go into the negative infinity for none of them because uh, things, they cannot be negative. Yes. So then I will connect only in between in the first quadrant and I will shade everything above it because here we have greater than or equals to 200. Now I will take the second one, y less than or equals. The second one, it's in blue color. And again, I don't need to, to graph more than. I will take it into here. And it is less than 500 or equals. Equals, I will uh, connect the point with solid line. And I will shade under it because of the last. Where the two intervals in shading, they will intersect, there is going to be solution for us. If you take a look in this shading, the two inequalities, they two, the two shadings, they will intersect in between here. So in this, in between these two solid lines, which is the feasible region. So any point in this interval, it will represent solution for our uh, uh, system of inequalities. Wish you all good luck.